Pano, Dr. Kiza BSJ, agobe domu chibina cha Forum for Democratic Change, FDC, cheta nikira. Kumagezige, kumanyige, kubongowe, kubudewe, kusenteze. Oluwa lero, chibina cha Forum for Democratic Change, abaka debacho, baite ba erda, abatude. Kuchibina cha Forum for Democratic Change, nebala angira kano Dr. Kiza BSJ, ngabo ya bensimbize chibina, ezamwe wa nanda la mafabi. Nti nandala mafabi ya wakano Dr. Keza WSJ Obuka debi kumibisatu Azitele kekulu HIV na Elanti wajazi musaba Bazikoye semini muze HIV na Nti wabula kano Dr. Keza WSJ Ya da kusimbi zino nazi Banaji somola somola Ngawe za muwe wasi wa zizayo MHIV na kia forum for democratic change Elanti olo yonsongeyo Nti ya ba insimbi zino Ate na, na atazi zayo kuduka nyamini mjia chivina Uro wabamu binga na wacha sola kumwesiga Kumushivina cha Forum for Democratic Change Nolecho waba ina kumugoba Bamu wade na kumbale nga sasude sente zino za yaba Mbweza na ndara mafabi Bwana wata sasude chivina cha Forum for Democratic Change Achabuli re elabe renga alpalavye konyo Bilono bidiride Awa uga gula nobru mchivina cha Forum for Democratic Change Kano Dr. Kiza BSJ Mbaya vudeo Na tegeze guanga nga omkuru na ndara mafabi Mboya yafuna nsimbi ya huwa mwemu seven ni po ni Patrick o boya amuru yati Irangi nsimbi zino bazi kwa ata ni bawa wako kano dokita kiza besi jobu kadevi kumibi satu Ngele nsimbi zino zaatu kwa kano dokita kiza besi jobu matumbi vude sawa nya Atemu wako wangu mibili ya habili Ndo wali yo kafu, kafiu Ngati wali muntu wa kezi wakuta mbla kusawa nya Ni yeye uza luachi Nandara mafabi asini sedeleva we ni nsimbi kusawa nya Choka ngade techikirizi waba ntukuta mbla Nga siwa government Nito wakina dekano dokita kiza BSJ Yafuna ukweke ngele nsimbi zino Ila kwe kusala hoto na agano zitileka mnyumba ye Na zileke wa mnira na we Nito wabula wala vanyumala wakita wikisi bili Kano dokita kiza BSJ ya tege ila Nite nsimbi zino nanda mafabi zi ya muade Zali zivudu wa mwemu seven Projekti ya yoku wanyisa chagula nyi senta mulo Bati Bobby Wai na HIV na cha national unity platform Buatio Ya tani kaa okuza ye nsimbi Mpola mpola wa nanda mafabi Ila mbu na azimala yo uro kubwa dola ya liye chuse chusate nga wachuse azize mdola Mbwezi tunezidonga za vitu mtazichawe na nga wazari Katine nesonga haba no haba kuru haba ereda Mbaba kadebe chumina cha flamu for democratic change Ndini waga mababati no nyele zange simbi zinu na drama fabi Ya zeo la mba manerenda na zite sakana ndokita kiza besi jokure chibina Ataka ndokita kiza besi zina zidake simbi zinu na ziba Nole cha ino msango mne neguwa ino kuoza Katera ino msango wa museda muvi Aino kugoba mchibina singata sula nsimbi zinu Ebi gambo chabi tabi ya manyo wano chabi tabi ya kusaga Na ye ya tandi ke chibina Kati ateba mwifuli de Ntiembaji wejewe yolida ateye kurume ntega Nandra mafabi Patrick Oboya amuru yati Bata anisokuruma besi jere sawa yonna wagina mugo Bamu chibina cha Fulham for Democratic Chain Binono biongira hoku stavula egwanga Uganda Newebuza tulagawa cheshige na maso Ila homuntu wakati agoi ingewa Wabula nkusabo kilize nobumi fukoshike cha waguru Tugende kushitewe cha Fulham for Democratic Chain Walina jana nkumbi Tufuna wakati debano Ngabala alika kano dokita kiza besi jere Ngaba mulu miliza Okubanga ya bensimbi Nandra mafabi ateze ya mtele sa kure chibina issues which Dr. BSJ had mentioned in that National Council of that time. When he mentioned those issues, some of them now you are privy to, Honorable Nandara replied to him. A good number of you have never known what Honorable Nandara replied to Dr. BSJ, but I'm not going to mention it here, because National Council in this wisdom said we should not take it out, we should form an elders committee, to look into those issues. What Dr. Bessie said leaked out. What Mr. Nanda replied to him that time did not leak out. All of you are aware that day, a good number of you are here. When that, those discussions started behind there, I was forced to chase you away. I'm sorry, but I chased you away. Tactically, you did not get, know that I was chasing you away because I didn't want you to hear what is happening behind there. I apologize for that. But I had to do it because that was my duty to protect the image of the, the party. So after that NEC conference, there were more than 250 people. When they listened to the issue they were talking about, they said these issues here are not for us to discuss here. I think they better be discussed by elders who are older than these people who are saying them here. So National Council instructed NEC to appoint senior 
elders who are well known to everybody and respected by everybody to look into these issues. Oneba <coughs> Muriat, as a party president and chairman of NEP, had the responsibility to look for names of people to be on this committee. And something I want to clear, so I heard somewhere someone say, Mr. Muriat was also accused, how could you choose a committee? By that time, nobody had accused Mr. Muriat. And nobody should lie to you about that. Nobody. And it was not in the fray. The naked members can tell you. By that time, it was Nandala and Dr. Besiji. We exchanged down there. So, Mr. Muriat brought those names to management. By chance, I was on that management that day personally. These two gentlemen were not there. And we discussed, there were nine names then. We discussed the nine names. And then we agreed to remove two names. As you know, FDC, we must have national character. That's the first thing we start with. Whatever we are doing, someone must come from east, north, central, and west. The first rule we start with that. If we are choosing four people, they must be coming from those regions. We are doing this because some people, whoever joins the party, wants to see himself in that mirror. A party is a mirror. If you don't see yourself in that mirror, you cannot join that party. So we agreed that we must have a national character. So those names were taken to, seven names were taken to NEC. The seven names were passed by all members of NEC who were there that day, chaired by Honorable Amuriat. NEC instructed President Amuriat to take those names which are passed to the two people, to Honorable Nandala and to Dr. Besiji. Those names were taken to Dr. Besiji and he approved all of them. He had no problem with any of them. They were taken to Honorable Nandala. He approved them. And then we agreed that when you choose the seven people, they will choose their own chairman. Not asked to choose for them anything. And there were terms of references, which Doctor agreed upon and Honorable Nandala agreed upon. So after choosing them, Honorable Amriyat went to inform them that now you are going to help us to do this work. Because all these people here had FDC at heart. A good number of them were founder members and others were people who were high in society as far as reputation is concerned. So that's how Mr. Navisho Committee was formed. All of us agreed on the names. There's no single person who can lie to you that did not agree with this, with this committee. Dr. Agreed, Honorable Nanda Agreed. That's why they appeared before them. So now, I want to hand over the microphone to Honorable Nabuiso to address you. After he has addressed you, I will address you on something about elections. Just a little one. Just one statement or two. So, Honorable. Yes, speak. <coughs> can I speak from here? But the voice must be up a bit. <laughs> okay. Today is 9th August 2023 and we are going to, we have agreed to issue a press release from the special FDC leaders committee. Our address is titled Honorables Besige, Amriat, and Mafavi will still be needed when rebuilding FDC. Good morning, honorable members of the press. We salute you for the great struggles you are engaged in to become the fourth estate in Uganda's governance system. You are very, very important in our struggle for democracy and basic human rights of Ugandans. The purpose of this press release is fourfold. There are four objectives. One, to remind you, the pressmen, 
of the terms of reference which our SEC SEC means Special Elders Committee requested to concentrate on during our investigations. Two, to respond to some of the allegations which some of the senior FDC leaders have made against us. Hey. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Three, to reiterate some of the recommendations we propose to make strong, to make FDC stronger in the future, particularly in the next 30 months. That is from September this year to December 2025, before the next fraudulent general elections in January 2026. Four, to remind Ugandans that political liars and fraudsters are found in other political parties in Uganda. In short, what is happening today in FDC is also happening in uh, other political parties. The NRM has two presidential candidates, a father and a son. UPC has two presidents, the son of the late Dr. Bote and Peter Walubiri. DP has two factions, one led by uh, Mao, who has now gone away, and Lulume, Ruiga, Dr. Lulume, Baiga. Jema, I have not heard anything from them. And, if, and uh, ka, ka, uh, CP. But we are scared that such things which we are going through may also happen to Noop. So we want to pray to them to be steady and not go to the play to the situation in which we are today. This release is our clarion call and the humble appeal to OFDC leaders in different corners of Uganda to stop washing our political underwears in the public and confusing innocent members at the grassroots. It is based on the FDC's motto. One people, one Uganda, or one Uganda, one people. We should raise above our individual interests, religious beliefs, and ethnic groups because one people, because we are one people who belong to one country. As is already known, on Friday, 28th July 2023, five members from SEC, us, formally presented our 19 page report to the FDC National Council meeting here in the FDC headquarters. The five were me, Frank Nabuiso, the chairperson of the committee from Busoga sub-region. Tiko Martha Ondoga, a lady from West Nile who has not been able to travel here. Emusu Joe Ediegu from Teso sub-region is not here. Mukara Zikibuka and this big man Robinson Kasozi. They come from Uganda. 
the sixth member, Stanley Tugume Katembea from Ankole sub region, and who was my vice chairperson, resigned from the committee after participating in the, for, the formulation of the first draft of this report. While Charles Makaru from Kanungu did not attend any meeting for unknown reasons. Honorable Amriat, the current FDC party president, who officially appointed us, revealed as Oktiba Chikonyoga said that our names were approved by the FDC National uh, Com Executive Committee on 12th May 2023. We therefore got the impression that we were appointed on merit and not as psychophants to some of the current FDC leaders. Our terms of reference. These are going to be distributed to you after this meeting. Even this document is going to be distributed to you. Six also gave us 10 days to carry out our investigations and make appropriate recommendations to enable the, mat the, the party to move forward more peacefully and responsibly. So those who believe that we did the show the work can still call for another committee. They can still request for another committee to satisfy their assertions. We are also aware that even while the bank reports have been criticized by different scholars and ordinary analysts, so our report is not perfect, and none of us who wrote it is perfect. None of us has claimed it to be perfect or to be holy. We live on earth, we don't live in heaven. I now wanted to turn to some of the allegations which have been made against us. The first one is that we doctored the report in, uh, in favor of Mafabi. All that he dictated to us what we should write about him. This allegation came from some newspapers, allegedly from Ibrahim, Honorable Ibrahim Nganda Semuju, Honorable Elias Rukwago, and Dondin Nyanjura, the MP for Kira, the Lord Mayor of Kampala, and the Deputy Mayor of Kampala, respectively. We believe that those four people are entitled to, your, to their opinions about us. But it is still their responsibility to prove that we don't have independent minds. This uh, gentleman has introduced me and him. This is a former minister. I'm a former Professor, former Vice Chancellor of Soga University, former MP for Kagoma County in the 7th Parliament, 
I'm one of the 50 people who rejected the 5 million shillings to remove uh, presidential term limits from the Constitution. I'm the only one who presented the Rakitura plan of 1993, where 77 people sat and said that they wanted to rule Uganda for 50 years. And we have gone for only 38 years, so 12 more. If not, <laughs> if not another 50 years. Dr. Kizabesije, the first president of FDC, whom we have high respects for, described our report as not being worth it, worthy the paper it was written on. So according to him, even in the paper we wrote on was useless, not worth reading. He further asserted that one, he gave us the serial numbers of the new notes of shillings 300 million which Honorable Mafabi asked him to keep in his house in Kasangati for FDC election agents. He also said that we did not resolve the unresolved data money. And that we did not inquire into the current accounts and the financial records of the party using forensic methods. That in, in honor of Mafabi's Maf statement to us, he never mentioned the shillings 280 million which he gave to Honorable Amriat. He also said that we narrated, we parroted, parroted. A parrot is, some, is that bad which... <laughs> In Kusu. In Kusu. We parroted Honorable Mafabi's lies that the shillings 300 million was for part agents. And that last, lastly, he said that we selected and inaccurately recorded what he told us. Our response is, the follow, is as follows. Our terms of reference advised us not to engage in witch hunting games. If Honorable Mafabi had deposited the shillings 300 million elsewhere, if for example he had hidden it in my house, would I have gone out to say I have this money? Would Dr. Besig have known no. and initiated this saga? Additionally, Dr. Besig never disclosed to us the name of his informer from State House about the that money, as he called it. <laughs> it is also true that Honorable Amriat admitted to us that he indeed obtained shillings 280 million from Mavafavi for his presidential campaign. Honorable Mavafavi was authorized 
promised to borrow money by by the party for the party and the honorable mafabi complied he also tendered some bank papers which he showed that he withdrew money from his own bank account in Chambo. On the other hand, Dr. Besige did not prove to us that that, that money came from State House. I think according to the monitor today, Dr. Besige has shown the serial numbers of the new notes of money which he recorded, which he says came from State House. But it is also true that the State House pays money to its clients, suppliers of this or that, goods and services, goods and services. And that that and that that money still ends up in commercial banks. It is also true that the money that Nandala mm -hmm. took to Dr. Vesige was not the same money that Dr. Vesige gave back to FDC headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> the other ills we identify. We said that Dr. Bessiger's refusal to campaign for Amuriat in 2020 to 21 disadvantaged other FDC candidates. But in his lengthy report here, he did not make any comment on that matter. Nor did he respond to our observations on the need for the party to continue participating in elections while it can also organize other activities to pressurize the government to bring political and socio-economic reforms. He did not say in this report, this paper, publication, publication anything about the growing disagreements between the Katonga, the Katonga group and in Ajanankum. But Katonga is not independent. It's not a breakaway group. It is a part and parcel of Ajanankum. Ajanankum is in charge of implementing the work plan of the party. Our recommendations to make FDC stronger. We made eight recommendations to help the party grow. We stressed the following the following needs. We said there is need for reconciliation, tolerance, grooming younger leaders, and amending the FDC constitution in some parts, developing part alliances in Uganda, in Kenya, for example. 
they usually have two presidential candidates only. In the last election, Ruto had several political parties which united and voted for him. Raila Odinga also had three or four political parties in Azimio Alliance which voted for him. We have not yet reached there in Uganda because we have had the military government from 1966 to present. The day we will also think about forming political alliances to fight against the dictatorial rule in this country we will be we will thank God we also recommend that a book should be written on the history of FDC and the people who have contributed to the party to the growth of the party should be highlighted and we believe that President Bessie should be highlighted in that book because of the sacrifices he has made for Uganda and for the party. That is why we are sad that the president is undermining his own legacy. And we want to appeal to appeal to him on our bended knees that he does not do that. We also said that management of African opposition parties is no easy task. Not everybody in the FDC is a manager or can manage an institution. Yes, I have been a vice chancellor of a university. Us. But if you put me in a political party to manage it, I may not be able to manage. And we also, um, there is a book I, I have come with here. No, it is here. In our report here, we showed the books that we read to prepare this report. And let me mention them. Not a, a book, a, a book and uh, some books and uh, papers. There is already a, book, a, a paper called the Forum for democratic FDC, democratic change, histori historical tracking. It has not been published yet. We also have additional suggestions to the committee from Bessie. We have Kadinaki Daniel's book entitled The Kiza Bessie and he's an unfinished revolution. We want that revolution to be completed. That is to bring, to create a people's government and not a government of a few people. 
One professor from Vesoga wrote a book called In Defense of Vesoga's Basic Human Rights. And the subject Jack gave us a book, a, a paper called My Thoughts About the Problems in FDC. I do not mention the others, but what I wanted to, to explain is that some people may be whispering messages, wrong messages, to Kisa Besige to destroy his legacy in this country. Lastly, I want to stress this. We have only 30 months left to have general elections in January 19, in January 2026. One party has already identified the two presidential candidates. The other parties have not identified their presidential candidates. So we should not waste the time bickering on things which we cannot prove. We should focus on what is positive, what Ugandans want. They want a change in power. And therefore, I want you to help us help FDC not to waste time, valuable time, but to bring out the current problems this country is facing. Our population growth tells us that in 27 years time Uganda will have 103 million people. Kampala is 5 million today. In the next 20 years it will be 10 or 15 million. What do we do with the population growth? Matia Kasaija, the Minister of Finance, told us in 2018-19, when he was reading the budget, that Uganda's economy, 69% of the economy, is in the hands of foreigners. Who is building these high scrapers in Kampala? Who has brought all sorts of foreigners here? Our educational system is powering out half a million people every year who cannot get employment. And you know who is in charge of education. The other problem is that we have refused, for example, to promote cottage industries in every home. Instead, we worship investors. Uh, my time is over. Uh, we want to try to tell you to emphasize that I and him are young persons in mind and we are willing to answer these questions. Age limit uh, made us younger. So if you have any questions, we are willing to answer. But you will get the, the, the typed paper. Thank you very much for listening to us. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can, if you have some questions, you can.
you can answer them. Second, I'll give you the last part. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, my name is Becca. I don't think you have said that um, you the role of your political to reconcile the party. Yes. Uh, but from what you have just said and also read in the report, it looks like you've said, like many times here, that uh, you are appealing to Dr. Octavius General to destroy his legacy. You are appealing to him not to destroy the work he has worked for the party. And in the report, he also uh, interviewed a number of people. But all of them were saying this day is wrong. There is only one person who was, who was speaking for this day that report. So if you say actually you are for reconciliation and you were new to prepare in this matter, why are you emphasizing the fact that this day should not destroy his legacy? If you are this neutral and you are not on someone's side, because I have not heard you say, because there is a conflict between the people, I have not heard you say, maybe Nandala don't destroy the party. Nandala don't destroy this. You are saying that they don't destroy. So, are you not there? Have you made up your mind that actually this whole matter is just the problem? Thank you very much. Let me answer that straight away. To begin with, BCJ is the man who became the first president of the party. Therefore, he is a key figure. And it is very important that we preserve his name. Secondly, before we issued this report, we met with the four party leaders. So let me read this. We met them in the FDC boardroom on Wednesday. Wednesday, 12th July 2025. The people, oh, 23, sorry. The people we met were Honorable Dr. Kiza Vesige, Honorable Amri Yat, Honorable Mafavi, and Honorable Ekanya. The meeting lasted for three hours. We were brainstorming on the need for reconciliation and the development of the party in the coming years. We asked them, what do you want to do now before you are here? This was before we issued this report. Geoffrey Ekanya told us, no, you organize, a, you organize a press conference. Tell the people that these fellows have reconciled. And we told him, no, that is not our mandate. Our mandate is to produce the report for the National Council to take action. None of those four people said that he did not like reconciliation. BCJ wanted it. Nandara Mafabi said he wanted it, but he wanted the BCJ to prove that he took money from state house. So we said, okay. 
we have tried. If they had agreed on that day to our proposal, all this saga would not have happened. But the person, I think the person who first leaked out and said the party is, the, the, this report is about Pronanda, is, is Pronanda, I think was from the, some of the suggested friends. Weekly back and on, we, interv we interviewed him because he was the first chief administrative officer of FDC. Personally, I worked with the Bakando anyway, where as a member of the board of directors on uh, transport, he was working in Lewe, the Lewe, Lewe uh, 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 organization. He therefore, he was a fountain of knowledge about FDC inside out, because he was the first one. So we, had, we don't believe that this is biased. No. We think that we have done our duty properly. And of course, Nandala, we have cautioned him. And Ekanya uh, and Amriyat, in this meeting which took place here, that is my answer to that question. Just from that answer, what exactly did you caution Nandala on if the report did not pin yet on anything in your findings? But also, in, in your report, you set out to do reconciliation. At what point did you set out to do investigations into the issues? If you set out to reconcile and not which part, we, were there intentions to Madam, we interviewed the best J. We have a lot of, we have recorded most of what he said. I think it was on 6th June. We interviewed Mafavi on 7th June and we said a lot of things about it. We wrote quite a lot. We were investigating in that interaction. We also uh, interviewed the following people. A Kenya Godfrey because he's the the current Treasurer General. We interviewed the Chamber of the Urban Force, is the current Deputy Treasurer General. But on the weekly because of what I have already said. We also interviewed the Patrick Oboy Amriya. And we recorded that statement. They are here in the full. And I think this report has been a posted. So we investigated. Now, let me. One of the most important questions we asked and I maybe you may want to give us some idea. Why did the Dr. Besige agree to have this money to keep it? when he was not the party treasurer general. Because you know you can create problems for yourself. If you 
cannot depart Jinu, part of treasure. Why do you accept money and keep it and then later transfer it to your shop from where it was paid back to a fridge? Why? We are not demonizing basically. We are asking critical questions if somebody wants to go to court the court will ask these questions. It is also important, Madam, when Besige was accused of rape some years ago back, he did not say a word. The lawyers said the man who accused or the girl who accused him of being of having been raped is the one to produce evidence. He did not utter at any word. And the court uh, what made a judgment in favor of, of Besige. So the person who insisted in the, on this money issue is the Kiza Besige. So we are saying, that's why we have said that he is responsible for showing, for bringing, adducing evidence we are not lawyers, we are elders, but even elders have some legal uh, brains. Any other question? No, there are so many people. This one first. Yes. Uh, but it is. Did, you, did I say that we do? We doctored. You would declare upon that. But there is an allegation that you were bribed by Honorable Nandara to make the report. You not uh, make the statement of that. Second, the Zayika left uh, the elders' committee on the ground that one of the, the secretaries who was appointed by Honorable Nandara was changing minutes. Please. Um, let me answer you. If you have evidence that we were bred, please bring it out. <laughs> That's the first thing. It is you who must prove that we are prayed. I have been in the public life for many years. By the way, some of you may not know that I was the secretary to the NRM and external wing in Nairobi. And the secretary to the peace talks in Nairobi between Museven and Okello before President Moy and Kibaki. I have lived in this country in the last 38 years. Has anybody ever said that Nabuisa is corrupt? My, my friend is here. He can also make a comment on that. Now, so for us, we are trying to advise people not to buy rumors. Because rumors can be very destructive. We did not get any money from him. I bought this suit some years ago. My children <laughs> bought it for me. My children, I've told them my legacy. 
I don't want them to spoil the name of Nabuiso. Nabuiso stands for something. It makes a man with small eyes but foresighted. Now, for me, me as a member of the committee, I'm not aware at all that money changed hands. <laughs> if it ever changed hands, they did it without my knowledge. And uh, I'm sorry that I did not share the money. Because I didn't even know where the money was shared. But I highly doubt that money changed hands. Because all the time we've been working as a team. And by the way, even the vice chairman of this elders committee, Tugume Katembeya, worked with us for 10 long days until he left to go to Nairobi for treatment. We kept on calling him on phone. At one time he told us he was at Entebbe Airport having arrived from Nairobi. We waited for him in Kampala and he said now he's driving straight to Nasana to see his uh, medical consultant. At no time did he tell us that he was designing until we read it through other circles that he indeed he had designed from us. And for his own reasons, some of which you have now known. The same is true with the uh, uh, Makaru from Rukungiri. He did not declare any the appointment. Just as he did not tell us why he did not show up. So that is the situation. But for me, I never shared any money. Although I used to receive my transported fund from here each time I came. If that is the fund, if that is the bribe, I must admit I received my transported fund. The boy who acted, the, the young man who acted as a secretary, was not appointed by Nanda. He was introduced to us by the legal, uh, legal advisor, uh, whose name Tugume. was uh, yeah, Tugume. And to think that uh, that young man would tell me to write the report, I would say it is an insult. Somebody was even been supervising PhD dissertations. You mean I don't have the ability to write? The, I think this country must have some madmen. <laughs> this one you you answer because I don't want to get into that. Yes. Um, I'd like to get it clear from you, I don't know if so, but in terms of reference, was it the alleged dirty money part of the, uh, uh, of, uh, the terms of reference, and if so, how far did you go into, uh, into investigation? It was, I've told you, according to Dr. RCJ, um, that would have been the key issue, the dirty money. But uh, the recommendations of the report were coming up with other issues, grooming new leaders, reconciliation, and others. And then my second question is about, uh, don't you think the report that you released will further break apart the FDC, other than binding it together? Thank you. The terms of reference were as follows. Invite the aggrieved parties to make their presentations to the committee. And the aggrieved parties we were told were Bessie and Nandala, mainly because they had a quorum in the National Council. In the consultation with the aggrieved parties, frame issues or questions that are, are to be resolved between them. 
have an interface with the aggrieved parties and their witnesses, if any, and allow them to present evidence. Invite any person or expert that the committee may deem necessary or may be having important information that the committee may use in resolving the dispute. Come with a detailed report with the findings, recommendations, and prescribed remedies to the parties. The spirit in which the committee has been consulted is to resolve the dispute between the senior party leaders in an honest, balanced, peace, peaceful manner and with equity. The committee should observe the principle of neutral natural justice and the principle of utmost good faith. So we followed this. Somebody may think that we, we, we don't have even the brains to interpret our terms of reference. That is his opinion. But that's what we did. You are not here when I, I said that even World Bank reports they are criticized. So now you ask me the you asking me the question, the last question. Don't you think this would divide the party more than inviting them? We gave those men chance to appear before us and to brainstorm with us about the future. They decided the next day to go viral. Even before the report was released, now, what should we have done? What could we have done? If people decided to go the, the, the way they behave, they, they behave. Maybe the way they wanted explicitly. Oh, the money. The money? Yes. Was the money brought here or not? I think that's the explicit the answer. Money, the money, the issue, the issue yes. uh, I think it is a good thing. According to BCJ, the, ma the major complaint was about the 300 million shillings. And that's why we discussed it. These other stories you hear that FDC received 7 billion, 18 billion. Nobody has told us about that. And it's not it was not investigated. Even the 280 million given to Amuriyad. Yes. Nobody mentioned it in the committee. But Amuriat received it, he told us. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Daniel um, So, Doctor, you're here to tell us that the gentleman affects the society. Yes. They have not been concerned. Yes. What caution did you give to the Honorable Nandarama Fabi in your report? And two, who appointed your committee to investigate these people? No, that one I'm not going to answer. I started with it. Yeah. Yes. The, the first one, yes. The caution to the four gentlemen, Amriat, Besige, Ekanya, and Nandala, was if you do not reconcile. You are going to tear the, the party. You are going to tear it up. That's why we said, let us agree before this report is released. And that question has come true. Thank you, Doctor. In your communication, you did say that Nandara, Ms. E. Nandara, was allowed to borrow some money mm. to run party activities mm. in elections. And you did say that he ended up in some statements. Mm. But one would ask him or herself, 
why was that not captured in the report? And then how much was borrowed and from which bank? Thank you. Then the last question is, your report was recommended for reconciliation. Just a few days after your presentation of your report, we are seeing some of the party leaders being suspended from the positions in the board. You think in one way or the other, one of the sides has also not respected the recommendations of your report, and as an editor, what do you advise? Thank you. First, uh, in our investigations, I said some bank statements were attended from Stanbeck Bank. I may have not said that. Stanbeck Bank at Chambo. Five hundred million withdrawn. I have already said. Now, uh, Nandala Mafavi also told us that he has many bank accounts. He's not like me. Me, I operate dormant accounts. <laughs> he said he has an audit firm. It is there. An international audit firm. He gets money. He worked for World Bank. He's also the chairman of Bugisu Group, Guruazi Cooperative Union. And as a chairman, he has a lot of say. He has a personal businesses. But we were not interested in his personal business. Our interest was did he borrow money and give it to the party? And the answer is yes, he did. Did anybody, has, it, has, has this money been paid? The answer is no. The 300 million. Bessie's um, shop has not paid back. 670. Oh, what we have here is that uh, on 14th January, the chief of the administrator got 120 million on this in the morning, in the afternoon, 80 million. Then uh, on 15th, 73, 600. And then the Uganda shillings, I think, 23,730. So the unpaid balance on the 300 million from Bessie's shop is 670,000. Just a bit for your question. Did you interest yourselves in asking SG Nanda why this money was not banked on the party account? Rather than giving it to Dr. Kizanis. Yes, he explained. Hmm? The reason, the reason, even in even Bessie has said in, in his, uh, you read it the monitor today. The, the, the information that Nandala gave him. <laughs> yes. Well, which is the Ah, I do not know who has been sacked. That, that information I don't have. But if it, if it is true, there must be reasons why and whether the, those, you know, the person who has sacked them has the powers in the, 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 the FDC constitution. It is here. So people should look for this. And that's why we have recommended 
that uh, this document should be reviewed and remove powers, some of the powers, particularly in the management of finances, to make sure that you have transparency. Yes. Yes, I'm Nelson Kiva from the New Vision. <coughs> One of my concerns mm. is uh, about this statement, let me read it from you, that our type of engagement mm. advised us not to engage in games of witch hunt before yeah. you started this, mm. uh, before you started your investigations. Mm. What involved in this, this decision of you ones? There's another issue is about the issue of money. When the president was talking the other time at his press conference, he talked about bringing some money to dollars. But in your report, we don't hear this coming out that this money devalued because it was returned in dollars. Did you find out? Then when you pinned him on the issue of bringing coming out with the person who told him from State House. What did the best tell you particularly? Why did he decline to tell out this person? Those questions are not Now, now first, um, uh, money being changed into dollars and so on, did not speak about it. And we didn't record it. Secondly, he refused to disclose the name and therefore made it possible. I mean, we wanted to interview that person, but uh, having refused to do that, we, we couldn't do anything about it. What was the third question? Legal advisor ad address the members about legal modalities that had to be observed throughout their meetings. He stressed that the committee was not a court but could perform some quasi tribunal functions. Next, he pointed out the expected outputs from their investigations. A. Reconciling the two parties or conducting successful mediation between them. Preferably including a mediation agreement and a report. B. In the case it is not successful, there will only be a report to the committee detailing what is transpired during the, meet, the committee meetings, findings, and recommendations. So this is the good advice. Maybe, sorry, Chairman, when the message was addressing, he talked about you particularly attending a meeting which was organized by the party secretary general and the president in Iganga, where you disclosed some details of the report, where you discussed the report, before it was made public? It was July 2nd. It was a Sunday. I have a home in Uganda. On 1st July, on 1st July, I think. No, no. Uh, I don't remember, but I think it was. Oh, there about. There about. We went to bury Wafula's wife. I even saw Chagulani there, Amri at Nanda. The next day, which is a Sunday, I received a call that the president of the party and the secretary general were in Iganga town. They were addressing people on the party structures. Being a this person, I decided to go to the meeting. And in that meeting, I talked about two things. One, that every district in Busoga should have 
a work plan that you don't just release money when people have not written their work plans. And I mentioned the districts which had not given us their work plans. Two, I distributed a paper on Busoga's escalating poverty. By the way, I was questioned by Bessage about it, and I sent him the papers. For me, I do not go by hearsay. I usually write my documents. I sent him the papers. So what do you think is the crime that I committed on that day? I did not say anything about the report. We summarize when we have over us. Okay, last one. I'm sorry. I did not disclose anything about that the, what we are doing. You, you see you are questioning my integrity. And you are right to question my integrity. But I want you also to look at my track records. Whether I have been a thief, whether I have been in the police, whether I have been arrested. So, that's right. <laughs> Doctor, my name is Austin Harris from National Broadcast. And now, with due respect, I think there is one thing that needs to be made clear for a Uganda without saying the support of FDC who wants to do what it is that is exactly asking that you need FDC. Now, Doctor, in your report, I have to do it very well. It's really recommended for things like conciliation of these leaders if they do not want to speak to the party. But the report was directed at being Dr. Kizabeski. But we would want to, because every time there must be reconciliation, both parties must have had somewhere where they went wrong. Now, this people would want to avoid Nanda and Oporong that he has to apologize or do anything to reconcile with any of these leaders. Now, second, Dr. We have had stories making the rounds on social media and everywhere of members being sacked from the FDC. Whoever is sacking them, whether they have obligations to do so, what's your comment on that? Do you think it's a rudimental method of solving issues? Instead of reconciling, but, but he has answered both of those questions. If I'm not out of it, my recording. No, let me re repeat for emphasis. Mm. Whenever you have issues, let me repeat. Let me repeat for emphasis. I have said. I do not know who has been sacked and for what reasons. But we recommended that this document should be revised to clearly delineate the powers of the people who appoint and who sack. That is one. Second, where did the Nandala Mafavi? Mandala Mafavi, we told him, it was wrong for him to take money to depart to somebody who is not a departed treasurer. Why did he take it there? Departed treasurer, let me read for you what Ekanya said. Because he was a departed treasurer. Very briefly. Honorable Kenya asked, um, you know, he replied that the sources of friend of finance for the party have been shrinking and fundraising has also reduced. He added that the party is entitled to money from the consolidated fund with the approval of the electoral commission, its members of parliament and the contribution. But he said that he did not know of any dispute between Dr. Besige and the Honorable Mafabi regarding that money, though he had about it, he had heard about it from social media. So that's what he told us. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether we transit. It, it, it does it in Uganda, but it's not very easy to do it again in Uganda. Like this. Sometimes you can transit. But I wanted to yeah? highlight. Yes. But I, I wanted to tell you something in English before I go to Uganda. Yeah. The 
National Council, which sat down there, resolved that district where elections were not conducted, they should be conducted. They should approach the EC and they make a program to do the elections. This has been done, and the election commission has given out a program where all elections in Uganda, in FDC, we end on the 18th August, where we are not held then. After that day, there will not be elections again until maybe 2029. 20, 20, oh, feeling in positions. People have been asking about elections. The EC has its own program and we outed it here and it is still ongoing. Those who are not satisfied, National Council advised them to approach the EC. That's what I can report on elections. Can you also comment about the municipal sackings of some of the disciplinary Members of the National Council? I will start the suspension of some of the members of the Secretary of the Council and the Secretary of the I'm not aware of the suspension yet, but I'm aware of that the, the chief whip was replaced. You, you, you want bad words, you people of the money are sacked, dismissed, which we don't do in FDC. For us, we may be, we replace someone with someone else. Maybe the letter that was uh, calling for uh, some of the members to come and face the disciplinary uh, committee of the party. Yeah, that's you confirm that. That letter and, was. And, and the reason as to why, some of the reasons as to why these people must appear before the disciplinary committee. I believe all of you read that letter. If I'm not out, all of you read it. The, the president said in that letter that he will out the, the reasons when they appear before the chairman of this committee. So the reason is I don't know them even myself. Because the, the letter, is, letter is written properly. That the reasons will be given at that point when they appear. What if they don't appear? If they don't appear, if you don't appear in court, what happens? Does the court run away or whatever? Second. I think he can only remove them after they have appeared before. That process has to start with the chairman of the disciplinary committee sitting. And then he brings his reasons why. He cannot just wake up and Amuriat cannot wake up and suck me. Here, I can say it on air, he can't. But when he takes me to the disciplinary committee, it is very clear in the constitution, when we are in the disciplinary committee, the president can put here someone acting in your position until that case is disposed of. And it's because I'm talking with experience, all of you know, I've ever been in the disciplinary committee of FDC. I went with the Betty Kamiya, when I had Betty Kamiya, and the only one on Zima. I'm the only one who remained in FDC, the other two are sacked. I went through it. But when you are in that, when they are charging you in that situation, you are supposed to be out of your position. Someone acts in that position. But that one who is acting is not substantive. The minute the case gets finished and you are absolved, you resume your position immediately. I think we, we understood. Luganda. Luganda, to make it simple. Yes, one one Yes. Recommendations is a way. Mugamba and Tibari Nakuanga, Bari Consigning, it just sent how 
first ye yagunja we chigambo date money fetwali te tuchite tuchibanyi nti wali wo date money and none that you know clean money ye yagunja wo chintu echi ye yachitwala mu national council ne yagantu wali wo million bisatu no million bitano sente ze zava mu state house Mwenyini National Council Neta sobo la kurizovinga chintwecha Ne wabeda o meeting sinya Besi jeze ya tulamu Neba ne neba abamu afabi Ebu sabala Ewa ambasada Birigwa waswa Bwebale merirwa Kwekute kawo komitien na feche tuata andikira ku okwa gara okumanya zozi no sente zo gamba nti nanda la mafabi ya zifu na mstate house zari meka na ganti yeba amutu alida ku milioni visatu tuboza luaki bazi kule itiragwe not another person Secondly, ori guoga mbanti state house informa yani tuinzo kumubuza o bate tuinzo kumubuza. Kakati fetu gende tunonye buli state house iwedi. Ngatu gamba ania gila ati kusentezi. Ba inzo kuloza nti waliwe chisibu mtuwe mtuwe kijafu. So, the reason why this report besiji. Muruganda, besi je ensonga lwachi, yesi baku sente. Zezo kubanga, zezamu tuwalirua, ate nazi kuata kuna kola sirio nambazi na chi, nazi teleka uwe mugundi, mudukali, edhi ensambia. Kakati na, ate nazi, na, nazi za, mwefudisi. Era mubyo nabi ya yoge the recommendations. Bia loo zanti. Bina, bina ganyula. Binzo kuganyula. Echibina. The way forward. Kupeji wano. Tulaba u recommendation. Ye muyoka. Here. Muluzungu. Agamant efforts should be made. To conduct a forensic audit. Amakuru nti. Baba bongiro kubuli za mbiya sendi. Kakati obanga echo ye recommendation ye. Eta tujisa mwenye nyo ichitiwa. Na ife tuwa kura recommendation zi munana. So kuna kuwa kwaana kunye mwende 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 Nika seye nguwa kukulemeze wa FPC Kwa nagila maso na ukuli Nisa kia se Nita kumanga chita mejinga Nika seye Gwoto manyingo mkulemeze Kwa haba uli lize ngambo Chinzo kukono nebio ufesibo Tochi manyi Aleme Sisu gamba vesi jeyeka Na hibu li mkulemeze wa Uganda Aleme kuli lize ngambo Check before you speak out tetugamba kubanga mu mu africa african rumors zinzo kuba 95% correct or wrong yes olwe chibuze chala banga kwa kala kumaliza yazifu na yes eh hey. Uh, President Wechibina, the chief of DC, Amuriat, ya tuka kasa. Ndi ya funa siri nge milio ni bibiri mwichi naana okuva wa mafari. Ngazige nda kukola kubapate agents. Abali mu, abali bagendo kuyamba mkulo ndesa. Eh? Eh, naka, President. So, nazi kozesa. Mukuberio, 
na yezo besi jete ya zibu za akonti wali wabu zibu mkete ya zogila kona wade na fete tuwala banso ungalu waki tu zibu za aku no kati zenge do kudama bisikati akoye akoye ina kubaburi ya bine wenge do baburi ya Mm-hmm. Abagendo kuwa nikevi afayo Bali tunula mubino vya tuwandisi ne, ne, Na ye vya agambi Olo uza tebagenda kubiwa andika Time will come So Si tulibeda likrivu Fetulo uza nti Omuntu watu isamu wa maso Babaya galakole Na hizi wengenda wange muka, muka. Muchala wanga tampi samu masu. Bobo ya gala sente ze batu wanga Malawansi Gendo bufuse I think Kao. mchala gundi kawa Kawa ya So to be truly transparent FDC katumudemu <laughs> FDC Avantu bulijubwe beku wa mtima Nebala beba koze Nga sibi tufu Nebene nya Nebagamba ne mungu Ntigwe watute kakunsi Okuyamba avantu wa na avalala Ere kibina Techipe edamu bakule mbeze Bankala kalira Avantu wa bamu bajja Avala nebagenda Bweba na baba tuusau FDC Eja kubela na manji manji Yes Kwa 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 Ebi tadi mukulu mukulu baka chiko baba deba deba kwa kila kujia vijini ni yalo vijia baba tigeza upatano niyo. Tishebe chini chikuru tishebe chini fudisi. Tere member numwa takis wa kujawa. Ela te tui na amuntu ono tajia ono na ino kujawa tajia. Abamu kufe tajia mwe fudisi eno. Siku siku jii injera ni jita ndika. Tova tui no bavu na nizivo. Okulaba ntu jisigaza u. Kwa tujia wana wa mbuta sino kuteka mumba na maulili Kwa wa mbuta na jana kumi chwe wa nandala Kwa wa mbuta nga yoga ni doktor besiji mkampa lanti wa doktor besiji Kati mbuta niso kutisa na haba antuba nchido Okuwa teka na kumimia na mbozi nga haba antuba abulichu Feche tulaba nge chichamfu Haba mkufu haba wina haba antuba nu Nde mwere kizampe yangu Tuata ni keshibi na chulu na haba kuruba nu Na tucha agala kabili wangu ya mule ita Wanamu na haba deba kule mbezeba fi 
Atenge jamba de muza mama mbolewa de mula ganga doctor wana tayaga la na kuaga la nons. Doctor yego lo wanwe tayaga lo. Kata nika finish fuchi no. Yetu liba lugani tuli amtawani. Na ande ya nia ino kuaga lo wano. Hakati wanda ba ngandi wano zibanza kuchiki kidia chibina. Sizi kuchiki kidia besi ji. Sizi kuchiki kidia nanda la. Ati watu yaga la nanda la. Nonya magiza kama mudiamu. Mumatika ngi ba mudiamu. Onwe ngeli sasa zozo kujamu nanda la watu muaga. Zeka pa magiza wala. Esoka, gumbusari na risa ini. Eyo kubiriyo kuri na delegates conference, no ge na no ge ma delegates. Nane overs ya. Ah, insonga za forum for democratic change, wazi to wazi, la wazi to wazi, mu kutambla. Kano dokita kiza besi je, alavi kwa fusi mpata ata je tani kila. Uh, Tubuli le uh, wa state house Mugambi wa mga government ya mseven Nti nandi la mafabi ya wa iwa insimbi Ezo kugula, ezo kutobo, ezo kutuala, ezo kutunda Echibina jafla wa democratic change mga government ya mseven Wata sobula kujayo mbego yo e ya mugambi ya mugamba Na ujui zilasua kubuleta katia efu disa jeso nyewe ajivile Nti tebaga la rugambo Nti musajja mkuru mkule mbeze mkuru Atata mbuza rugambo Auli liza uli kasero rugambo Tulechibina chirigena chitamu masu Nga yazi mkuli liza rugambo Ate nti Echibina chitura kubira mba kule mbeze Babili waba satu Nolecho yeso nyo FDC Agenda kule vila lawa kule mbeze Balu waba manji Elawe balu ndebo wabantu Ati aveso nyo aveso nyo Aveka baveka baveka Bavile kudala Agenda kule vivye nga ye kano dokita kiza besiji umulio nogu kute umulio guli mkubu mboja stumanyu wa forum for democratic change jegenda kuda na henge vya vila vikabili mulusubo vila vike gendelela yetu use kukaga haka semba ya haka gukilo wadule sawa yona nti echigo kudimwa forum for democratic change kawe demu kwa wati jeyole kede uli da wibate kawo kuwaba elda abandi wa den yuto na uli da wida wali na both side Pari chumu pari miliza besi je 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 besi je. Tuwasola. Kukwela makati ni waga manti ABCD. Hola boy de wafu na doru dali pari miliza anti besi je aswaza chivi na besi je biakula. Bibi guani di. Awo nofe tutileke wabili tutunule tulinde tutabe cheshi na wa shidako tutabe cheshi na wa o. Bibi gambo ya FDC Forum for Democratic Change. Bila wika, bia soba ganye da, bila wika. Hei, hivu ina tani soku vila yodal. Vintu vino baya yogiru wanganga, wantu walo waza vya kusaga. Nti FDC wa molo, FDC wa kwa ya mwamu seveni. FDC, mwamu seveni ya wate kawo, bali mese. Abantu wa bali vio, abantu wa bali dala. Mujia muntebe. Kali vigambo vigenda vivayo vili oru kede, vili oru cha. Aba wechi, vayo wa wechi yongiru kwela visa. Atino, wantu wa gambi, anti amani gacha, gula niga nja ulo. Chagula nyi mulala mu. Kupabu di chari che kweka. Wanayoga na chari baadi baba kweka. Chivayo ensege nde chimanye ensege nde chitegera. Ndi e bonange tuwali kudaba saji. Kudaba tuitamu daana. Nyenga eki za vesije. Echibina chieta andi kieti la muobude. Agari ya magezi gende. Pari ate chandibanga. Chigenda kumufu kila rusuo. Nga tacha kilizi wado kulinye na jana kumbi. Tacha kizi wado kucho gerako. Hachijene muka muake. E. Gambo, kuliza lugambo, kugirawe gambo vya samwa samwa, ewe taina mtuwe na mawabu. Fewe tuli, tuja kuwa tulababu lechige na maso, tuja kuwa tulababu lechitambula, na maso kulutimbe, fe, tulienda kubanga, tulibawa mwamu vili ndi lile, na Uganda mwena jemuli. Kale, wewe tewe vitambu de, muka makatuna suwa wanku mire, tuja kuwa tudamu tuwae, ewe gambo, atu manye cheshi na wachizeko, mwela ba.